This short video will help you get started with FME. We'll start in FME Workbench, which is the authoring environment for creating and running data transformations. In our scenario, we need to convert a CSV file of BFARMS to AutoCAD for use by our local government. The first step is to specify the input data. Do this by adding a reader. Just browse to the data set you want to transform. This is where you'd set any parameters specific to that format, or tag the coordinate system if one hasn't been specified. In this case, we'll tag the CSV data as LL84. The next step in our workflow is to add a transformer. A transformer modifies the content and structure of the input data, and we can chain together as many as we need to get the output data the way we want it. You can browse the transformer gallery to see hundreds of possibilities sorted by category, or if you know the transformer you want, you can start typing a keyword. For our scenario, we'll use a vertex creator to convert the CSV rows into spatial features. Double click to open the transformer parameters and set the X and Y values to the lat long attributes. Let's preview this transformation by clicking Run with Full Inspection. When the translation is complete, we'll double click the output features to view them in the FME Data Inspector. You can see we've successfully transformed the CSV data into spatial features. Clicking on a point shows its attribute information. The final step in our workflow is to specify the output format. This means adding a writer. Set the output format you want, then type or browse to your desired output location. As with the reader, you can set parameters specific to the destination format. We'll click OK, and you can see that the definition of our CSV file has been copied to the destination AutoCAD setup. Connect the writer and click Run. This will transform our input CSV file to AutoCAD DWG. So that's how you set up a basic transformation with FME. If you want to take it a step further and automate the entire workflow to process multiple input files, check out FME Server. For free tutorials, training, webinars, and other resources, visit safe.com.